He's a vagabond composer and instrumentalist. French guitarist Samuel Strouk was classically trained, but he's constantly forging new horizons and creating new musical landscapes. On his latest album, he blends the rigor of classical music with the wild improvisation of jazz, and he joins me in the studio to talk us through this new project. Thank you so much for being here in real life. It's nice to not see you virtually. Um, Thanks for having me. <laughs> so you've just released a new album. It's called Nouveau Monde, yeah. New worlds. What does that title refer to? Um, well, this title refers to new spaces uh, that I try to compose in music, you know, new, new musical spaces. Um, I have, uh, I think in this album, each track has a new world. So I've tried to make bridges between different um, music. And in each track, I've tried to uh, find this this point where a new world appears, you know. So that's that's why the title refers to. So new musical worlds, a new new musical landscapes really on this album. Yeah. It's a meeting of two worlds. So the the world of classical music, the world of jazz, a string quartet meets a, a rhythm section. Yeah. Uh, are these two facets of your personality? Yeah, of course. It's it's actually uh, what I've I've been doing since many years, and uh, uh, it refers to. Uh, how I live with my parents, and it refers to who I am. I'm a composer for a Philharmonic Orchestra. Mm -hmm. In the same time, in the meantime, I'm a guitar player, a jazz guitar player. So I've, I've been trying to yeah, put these two um, things all together for uh, just trying to find, you know, it's, uh, it's um, something that um, we call in uh, musical history the third stream. Okay. So that's the, the mix between classical and jazz. It's called the third, third stream. So I've been yeah, influenced by uh, some composers, some albums that um, have been done in this third stream. So this is the third stream. Let's take a listen actually to a track off your album. It's called Proxima Centauri. Take a listen. That's such a good track. That's uh, Proxima Centauri by French guitarist uh, Samuel Struck. Uh, for those of us confined uh, due to the coronavirus pandemic, your album is a real way to, to travel. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see it there in that, uh, in that music video. You're kind of traveling, I guess, in your brain. That's what you just told me. <laughs> what inspired you when you were composing this album? Um, well, the, um, the inspiration is always coming by different things, you know. For example, it, it could come from a uh, story of my life. But in the meantime, it could come from, um, let's say, composers I've been uh, listening a lot, like uh, Yanis Xenakis, uh, Stravinsky, mm -hmm. Maurice Ravel. Uh, it also comes from travels that I've been doing. I had the chance to travel a lot uh, in my life, been in Burkina Faso, in uh, India, the US, in Pakistan, uh, Nepal. And I've been working with a musician in all, this, uh, all those countries. So I always be... Yeah, I, I'm always surrounded by uh, those local musicians. So that's uh, also a, uh, a thing that inspired me. So inspiration coming from around the world. You've been credited with composing classical music for the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, does, what does that sound like? It sounds very... Wow, that's, that's what's crazy when I saw this. I was like, wow, thanks, but uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, that... Uh, I don't know. You know, it's... Uh, but yeah, it could be because um, it's uh, Leonard Bernstein who told that, he said, uh, I don't know if you were familiar with this, but he said, um, he, th he thought that the future music, the future in classical music is the mix between all the research in the contemporary music, the 20th mm -hmm. century, and all of this world music, the jazz music that we have. And he, he was thinking that if we mix all together and we stay in relation with the audience, with the music that we can hear and feel something on it, mm -hmm. so we, we, we are doing something new. Mm -hmm. Well, that definitely does feel something very futuristic in your music. <laughs> now, on top of releasing a new album, you've actually just launched a new musical streaming service. Yeah. It's called 
Music in. Yeah. Uh, it's free. It's open to all musicians. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit how it works? Yeah, of course. Uh, music in is actually um, um, a music stream marketplace. Okay. It's just this. So um, the listeners comes and subscribe directly to uh, uh, their favorite artist. Um, music in puts musicians in control. Okay. Uh, in control of their uh, finances, royalties, in control of their, um, how can I say that? Yeah, the fan base. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the main idea. It's it, we need something to you know um, um, get incomes of what we're doing. We spend money to produce music, to make new video, new albums, and we have to somewhere sell it. Because. Mm -hmm you know, income for musicians is definitely something that comes up when you talk about streaming services yeah. uh, like uh, Spotify and mm. Deezer. They have come under fire for the way that artists are paid or rather underpaid. So what is different about your platform? How does, the, how does it change that? Yeah, um, we, uh, we raise the bar of the value of music. That's the, the main idea. Um, I think the other platforms are very cool because we need those, you know, we need something that for 10 bucks a month you have the whole world in music yeah. in your hand. That's very cool and it, we have to still uh, continue with this. But in the meantime, we need a, a place that for two months, three months, you can commercial, uh, you can sell something mm -hmm. uh, for your uh, audience. So, um, yeah, the difference is uh, the difference between the music in and, and the other platform is basically we, we put more value on music at the beginning. So it's all about the artist. Yeah, um, all about the artist. Yeah. Well, let's move on to some other music news that's making headlines. The American art pop band Tune Yards are releasing their fifth studio album. The 11 track LP is called Sketchy. And to prepare for the opus, collaborators Meryl Garbus and Nate Brenner played together daily for hours in their home rehearsal studio, like athletes, they say. Check out this track, it's called Hold Yourself. So that was the track Hold Yourself by Tune Yards. Tune Yards saying they prepare for their record like athletes. Mm -hmm. How do you prepare for a, a recording studio uh, session? Well, uh, we have to rehearse before. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just rehearsal, uh, thinking of the spaces you will have to record. It's not the same if you have to record, let's say, a string quartet, a rhythm section, a, a voice, a guitar, and you try to match those things with the space you have. Like, you know, so it's just. It's a mental preparation yeah. for the... <laughs> Best. All right. Well, next, the uh, American uh, experimental band Shu Shu is releasing an album of duets. It's called Oh No, uh, and it features an impressive lineup, including Sharon Van Etten, Alice Bag, Twin Shadow, and a lot more. The first song from the album is Bottle of Rum, which is a collaboration with Liz Harris of Grouper. And it was the video that you'll see is actually directed by Shu Shu's Angela So. Take a look. So Samuel, you have a lot of feathers in your cap on top of being a musician. Uh, you've just launched this music streaming platform and you're also a festival programmer for a yeah. uh, jazz festival in uh, uh, Maison Lafitte uh, and Saint-Mandé. Now, countless concerts and festivals have been canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic. What's your hope for the future of live music? You know, I think nothing can really truly replace the physical experience of a live performance. But I think what Travis Scott done, did in um, in uh, Fortnite, mm -hmm. this is something very crazy. He raised, he really raised this bar because uh, it's like 12, 12 million people who were uh, listening him in Fortnite in game. So I think, yeah, shows in game, shows streaming shows in internet, and live shows should be probably mixed up, you know, in something that you can um, choose if you go directly to the show to feel it or in game, you know. So probably. 
Yeah, that's the future, I think. So a mix between like a real show and something yeah. virtual is always yeah. what you're saying. Okay, we'll have to see if that works out. Anyway, we don't have very many other options, so we'll probably have to go down that road. Uh, finally, the uh, Swedish sister duo First Aid Kit are releasing a live Leonard Cohen tribute album, uh, which they recorded in 2017, shortly after the singer-songwriter's passing. The album is called Who by Fire, and it features a cover of the song Suzanne. We're going to leave you with that song. But before we go, I want to thank my guest, Samuel Struck. Thank, thank you, so, you much so much for being with you. us today. Be sure to check out his new album. It's called Nouveau Monde and his new music application. Uh, it's called Music In. And you can catch him live. You'll be performing, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. uh, live shows in July, August, September. And you have a release date for your album the uh, 5th of, oh, excuse me, the 8th of October at Café de la Danse. Really hope that those yeah. shows will be uh, going forward. And best of luck with your album release. Uh, don't forget that for more arts and culture news, you can head to our website and stay in touch on social media. And please stay tuned to France 24. More news is coming up right after this. Only drowning men could see him. He said all men shall be sailors then until the sea shall free them. But he himself was broken Long before the sky would open Forsaken, almost human He sank beneath your wisdom Like a storm